Welcome back to another Mobilitics Low Elo tier list video and today we're taking a look at patch 12.3. It's going to be an interesting patch mainly due to a large amount of itemization changes. The fighter and bruiser items are being changed significantly so keep your eyes on the tier list on our website for regular updates to make sure you're not missing out on any suddenly strong champions. Now let's get straight into it and kick it all off with the top lane. In the god tier we've got Jax, Garen and Dr. Mundo. In the S tier there's Malphite, Set, Shen, Teemo, Urgot, Yorick, Darius, Warwick and Fiora. Jax is just one of those champions that has always stomped games when he gets ahead, but he has somewhat been overshadowed by other dominant picks in recent seasons. Blade of the Rune King has got a significant buff though, and Jax absolutely adores this item. Jax is truly a terror in low elos, people just don't know how to play against him. He can split push with ease and with a few items, nobody is able to answer him. If you combine his playstyles with some strong new itemization heading his way and you've got a huge carry pick from that top lane. So Quinn is being buffed slightly and this should see her popularity spike for a while. Quinn is possibly one of the more underrated top laners and has been for quite some time now. Her ability to shut down low range lanes with her poke and harass allows her to come out on top in most matchups. Quinn's playstyle is fairly unique though and she does really only get played by a small collection of players but those who play her usually cause a lot of problems. Despite that though, be ready to play against a lot of first time Quins this patch. Yone is sitting in a pretty healthy spot in that top lane, but now that a lot of the fighter and bruiser itemization is losing some of its HP for a little bit of AD, we feel that this could push Yone over the edge. Less health on all of his lane opponents is not exactly a bad thing. Also, the new Death Dance is likely going to be one of the best items in the game, and as Yone regularly builds this item third, he could be a monstrous pick, especially in the mid to late game in this patch. Moving on to the jungle now and in the god tier we have Ramus, Nunu and Amumu. Yes, they are three familiar faces that we have seen for quite some time now but they are still dominating those low elo ladders. In the S tier we have Master Yi, Diana, Vi, Warwick, Xin Zhao, Zac, Sejuani, Hecarim and Nocturne. So Amumu got nerfed this patch but honestly it's no way near as bad as it sounds. Amumu's win rate comes mostly from his ability to get stuck into teams and lock down all of them with his ultimate. Amumu's ganks are self-explanatory and simple to pull off and his jungle clearing doesn't really require too much effort. Amumu's straightforward playstyle but incredibly effective kit make him an absolute monster in low elo and honestly it's not going to change anytime soon. So Lilia got a buff this patch and honestly she's one of the most underrated champions in the jungle. The damage this champion can do is absurd with a few items and landing a 5 man sleep is one of the most satisfying things you can do in the game. Lilia's ultimate is now a 2 second sleep at rank 1, meaning she's going to be a lot more useful in those early 2v2s, skirmishes and dragon teamfights. Lilia is a fairly unique champion and will take a few games to get the hang of, but she's 100% one to give a go and see if you do click with her, as if you do, she could be your ticket out of elo hell. Nunu is still dominating the jungle at all ranks at the moment. He's the king of the macro, he can secure every objective without question and he can gank everywhere and anywhere from as early as level 2. Nunu is by far one of the most unpredictable junglers to play against and that plays a large part into why he's so successful in solo queue. Disorganised games and fiestas are Nunu's cup of tea and his win rate is still soaring sky high so far this season. Moving on to the mid lane now and in the god tier we've got Vex, Anivia and Victor. In the S tier there's Annie, Lux, Malzahar, Vigar and Lissandra. So as you will probably know Ari has received a mini rework this patch and some players are super excited and other players aren't actually quite as keen. For me though, it's definitely a welcome change, so I think it could be what she needs to really cement her place back on the rift. Now that she has the ability to gain ultimate resets and her damage isn't so limited to her charm amplification, she's now far less punishable and actually just more useful throughout fights. Before, if you burnt Ari's ultimate or if she missed her charm, she was just so easy to punish. Hopefully now Ari can bounce back with a bang, but we're going to keep her in the A tier for now. Brand got a little bit of love this patch too. He now restores mana upon killing targets which could make him a bit of a demon in that mid lane. Brand's ultimate now also prioritises enemy targets instead of himself meaning he's just going to deal more damage in teamfights. Brand mid is pretty horrendous to play against and he isn't as popular as he used to be back in the day but there's still plenty of players abusing this champion so now it could be the time to join them. Vex is still terrorising players from that mid lane. She remains a fantastic answer to any high mobility champions and any mid laners in general that are quite low range. Vex can punish them so easily with her close range abilities and empowered auto attacks and can be a solid counter pick to most early game assassins. Vex does struggle against longer range mages but they have fizzled out a little bit unlike their crazy popularity back at the start of the season. Vex's ability to carry fights with her burst and ultimate resets just make her a top pick this patch. 
In the bot lane now, and honestly not too much has changed. In the god tier we've got Jin, Jinx and Vayne. In the S tier we have Caitlyn, Ziggs, Cogmore and Ezreal. So Zeri joined the roster last patch and although at first she seemed somewhat lackluster, once people figured out what to build on her, she was an absolute demon. Zeri definitely saw more success in those higher elos but if you could play her correctly, she was without a doubt a very hot pick in low elo too. Zeri is receiving some nerfs this patch and her itemization is changing too so we're going to be keeping an eye on her. For now though, she's going to sit firmly in that A tier. Caitlyn has been bullying lanes and games in low elos for as long as I can remember and her range advantage and poke just makes her so difficult to play against without the help from your jungler. Caitlyn is receiving some nerfs this patch that should bring her down a fraction but this isn't going to change the fact that in low elo players just don't know how to deal with her. Caitlyn's going to keep her place in that S tier for now but let's see how these nerfs impact her over the course of this patch. Jin is a complete powerhouse in the bottom lane this season and he's generally just built different. Jin has been a massive priority at all ranks and is still untouched so far in Season 12. Jin's ability to remain relevant and consistent throughout all stages of the game and the fact that he fits into almost all team compositions and against most matchups too make him a very safe and solid pick all round. Jin's able to bully lanes easily with his Q and his fourth shot and he can often pick up early kills and snowball the game incredibly quickly. Jin is definitely not going anywhere anytime soon and will remain in that god tier unless something major changes. Finally, let's finish off with the support and in the god tier we've got Zyra, Sona and Soraka. In the S tier we have Blitzcrank, Lulu, Lux, Morgana, Nami, Zerath, Zyra and Leona. Janna has been super OP since her changes but a lot of that was due to her Glacial Augment bug and she's mostly being prioritised in higher elos. So Zyra's win rate has just blown up recently. She's performing well at all ranks but especially so in low elo. Zyra's long range harass, all in potential and overall 2v2 power make her so oppressive and so difficult to lane against. Zyra is a fantastic answer to all kinds of supports and she's one of the rare few that can actually out damage and outburst those pesky enchanters. Zyra is probably one of the best champions to carry 1v2 as well, as if your AD carry isn't the best you can kind of just put them on your back and win lane by yourself. Now Zyra can struggle sometimes later on in games where her low range may limit her, but in lane you're going to have a great time. Senna was absolutely everywhere last patch and now Riot have forced her back into that support role by nerfing her soul drop rates. Support or fasting Senna is definitely going to be her best role in the game now so get ready to see lots of her in your games. If you play Senna with a tank or a mage in that bot lane you can both scale together. Senna will bring long range AD damage so whatever you partner with her ideally will bring some more diversity. Tom Kench hasn't been too popular since his changes but we could see Senna and Tom's romance make a return this patch. Morgana has notoriously always been an amazing pick in low elo. The bindings seem to last for 10 years and the constant harass and pick potential makes her the queen of the bot lane. Morgana's spell shield is also one of the best abilities in the game for any support and although it may not be as effective against enchanters, Morgana remains one of the best counters to any hard engaging support in the game. She also has the luxury of being able to build full AP support meaning you can without a doubt carry those games when you're feeling 1v9. One good clutch ultimate into Zonyas and you've potentially won the entire fight and the game for your team. That's going to bring us to the end of this Mobilitics 12.3 low elo tier list. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.